Uh, let me see. Make this video real quick. So we're 2.2 miles away from our stop. So y'all see why I like working after midnight? Let me see. Right now it's 3.05 a.m. About to drop off this pizza. And uh, <laughs> y'all see why I like working at this time? Why I sound happy at this time? Because there ain't nobody out. Oh, I love this poor. <laughs> oh, I love this. You know what I'm saying? Let's see how long. Let's see. We got two miles to get to our destination, guys. Let's, let's see if we uh come, pa come past a car anytime soon. Is it anybody? Is there any car out here at all? I think I see one way down there. I don't know. That might not be a car, though. I'm over here at uh, Glenview. Oh, I love this, y'all. Talk about meditation, prayer, rejuvenation. It's at this time. Nah, that's not a car. That's some light. Is there any car out at all? Will we see a car within three miles, excuse me, two miles, guys, to our destination? Because I'm going to cut the video off when, when I get to the destination. Gotta love this, man. Gotta love this. I rather I rather work <clears throat> I rather work I rather work 12 to 15 hours a day than work an eight hour job. And like I said before, when I used to be a bartender at O'Hare Airport, I mean to me that was a 13 hour day also. Why? Because I, I well I worked the morning shift. I used to fix a lot of Bloody Marys. So check this out, y'all. I told y'all how these white folks, they be acting and stuff. I had a drop off and um, I drop off the food and this guy's like, what's your name? And I, I'm like, why are you asking my name? So I told my first name. She asking me, you know, I'm nice, I'm cordial at first until you start acting weird. Then he said, what's your middle name? I said, I don't have one. He said, what's your last name? I said, that's too much information. <laughs> and then, and said good night like what in the world I told y'all these people and, and <clears throat> I told y'all these people um and it ain't just white people who be wanting to know who I am it's it's all kind of people be wanting to know who I am but the white people they, they just be like some of them be acting like weird about it like like why are you asking me these questions you know what I'm saying <laughs> I didn't I'm just delivering this dude's McDonald's he's asking me uh, all these questions like why <laughs> why are you asking me this but anyway um let me see huh We're still one mile away from draw we haven't even seen a car yet uh guys we haven't even seen a car yet i love this oh i love this and see that's why that's one thing i can tell the young guys is that you know you waste a lot of energy during the daytime you really is you know what I'm saying? If you're only gonna make, if you're only gonna make 70, 80 bucks in eight hours in the daytime, then you might as well sleep in the daytime and come out after 11 p.m. and make a hundred dollars in four hours and cut your time in half. What what's the point? And then you out here, there's no traffic. You know what I'm saying? So, but y'all know I do both. But anyway, I kind of got off the point when I was a bartender at O'Hare. You know. 13 hour day I lived on the north side I had to get up at 4.30 a.m. hop on a train from uh, I lived by Ev I used to live by Evanston right on the lakefront remember I had an apartment right on the beach but anyway um, you know getting up at 4.30 a.m. had to open the bar by 7 and then leaving out of there at 3 or 3.30 and then wouldn't be back home to 6 p.m. how many hours is that? That's about, that's like 13 and a half hours. So what's the difference? And, and, and you call that a nine to five job, but it still took 13 hours of my time. So what's the difference between a, a nine to five job that you gotta, well, I mean, in that case, I had to travel far to work, but it was a good paying job. Most most jobs that pay you well, you're gonna have to do some traveling. You're gonna have to make some kind of sacrifices. And in this situation, I loved where I lived at that time. 
and I like and I liked my job. It, I made a lot of money doing it. Bartending, of course. International Airport. Are you kidding me? Made almost a couple of hundred dollars every day in tips. You see what I'm saying? But I never. I can tell you, I never want to bartend again. All those, uh, all those people I had to deal with and their spirits and stuff like this. Nah, I couldn't do it. And y'all, some of y'all already know when I get the liquor orders coming in on the gig apps, I don't want nothing to do with no alcohol. And uh, I can't even remember the last time I had a drink, but I'm gonna have a drink soon. It's, it's kind of funny because I don't drink alcohol, but every now and then, once in a blue moon, I'd be like, damn, I want a drink. Like, no, not I want to drink. Like, I need a drink. <laughs> it sounds like somebody that drink a lot. I, I need a drink. How do you need a drink and you don't drink? <laughs> but, but yeah, I need a drink. You know what I'm saying? God, man, I've been working so hard. I need a drink. Particularly some Myers rum or some tequila. Let me see. Where am I? Uh, where, where am I going? All right, y'all. I got to cut this off. I don't understand how am I going to this store and it's like closed. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, man. I got that. I've been having that Myers rum on my mind. That dark rum, Myers. Whoo, that stuff take you straight to the moon, boy. Anyway, I gotta get out of here, y'all. Must be one of these 24-hour stores. Talk to y'all later. Peace.